All right, y'all, welcome back. This is one that I am very excited about. I'm down to my last two from Montana, and I had a big debate on which one I wanted to drink last, saving the best for last, and I always, I like to save those higher percentage ones, but this one here called out to me big time too. There's which I decided to, I was gonna do this one last, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Cause, and I got some history with some of this, and I know some of my family that might see this will get a good kick out of this one. Fresh Bong Water from the Kettle House Brewing Company in Missoula, Montana. It's a hemp ale. Didn't know there was a such thing. And uh, it comes from my friend uh, Fan and James Fan in uh, Montana for that part of the beer swap. So it's an ale brewed with hemp seed. Okay, I also looked this up, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is like their base beer and stuff. Like this is the main thing, because when I looked up fresh bong water, wow, there was like so many different beers that popped up. I mean, it was like, oh my goodness, I was, I was like, you got Joe fresh bong water, Mosaic dry hop fresh bong water. Idaho number seven dry hot bong water, all from the same brewery. Funky fresh Apollo apricot bong water. Phew! And I, then I had to sign in to see the rest. So they're all about their bong water at this place. So I'm excited, you know. I'm I'm excited about it. And now it's also got a little story here in the can. It says you may recognize the bong water name born in 1998 by a request from the owners of the rhino bar in missoula for a hemp beer called old bong water but old with an e at the end of it Some fancy old right old bong water porter you're holding in your hand its lighter cousin fresh bong water hemp ale Obviously, porters are usually a darker, heavier beer. So this is a hemp ale. It's brewed with Canadian-grown hemp, Montana-grown barley, and Missoula-grown love. It goes down easily with a nutty sweetness and a mellow 5% ABV. Yes, even 5%. Only available, only available in Montana. Fresh is a brewery favorite. It is a proud thank you to our followers and the inaugural release from our new brewery on the banks of the big, big, uh, the big Blackfoot River in Bonner, Montana. No, not Boner. It's Bonner. We hope you, we hope you imbibe joyfully and responsibly. Slante, or however, there's that Slante. Yeah. Kettle House Brewing Company. Nice. I like that. I like when they put a good story on the side there. It makes for good entertainment. Interesting. Only available in Montana. Thank you again, James. You are the man. This is so cool. Here we go. Again, it comes in at 5%. Okay, it don't smell like weed. Maybe a little bit. It smells like beer. Ooh, looks kind of green from here. Hmm. Looks lovely. Real nice. Canadian grown. Canadian grown hemp, eh? What are you talking about? Canadian grown hemp, eh? So, yeah, again, smells like beer. Doesn't like smell like weed. Hmm. 
Wow. That's unique. I guess you can call that nutty. Yeah, it's kind of like a little, there's like a nuttiness there. It's not bad. It's definitely different. You know. I'm sad to say I have, in my younger days, I did take a sip of bong water. And this is not bong water, obviously. I mean, but there is something there. Like it's fresh brong water, I guess. You know, like you hit, you, you pack the bowl, you hit it one time, and add some alcohol, and there you go. I don't know. This got some pretty good flavors. Pretty smooth. It's great on the palate. It's actually a really good beer, as far as beer goes. It's, it's a nice, hearty, really good beer. I mean, this would be perfect. Just hanging out you know is there some floaties in there did they leave some of the seeds and stems in there <laughs> but this would be good for just you know hanging out some you know doritos and watching a good football game it's really really good it's actually surprisingly mm. refreshing it's, it's got it's like a hearty good beer I can only imagine how the porter is. I'm very impressed. I'd love to try all the other ones too. This would be perfect for the base beer, like I said. So, until next time, salute.